Oh my goodness, look at all the lights. I see Honolulu. Put us down over there. I've got a show to do. Live from Chinatown, you're watching Tina tonight. Live from Chinatown with the mustache queen herself, Tina Tinsley. Musical guest, Magaphone, Lilith Zaytana, and the Gay Men's Chorus of Honolulu. This is a live holiday spectacular of Tina Tonight! Presented by Barrio Vintage, Trace Agave Tequila, Scarlet Lounge, and the Arts of Marks Garage. This is Tina Tonight! Here's Tina! Something that I feel all of you should have in your stocking. A delicious tita tag! Oh my god! For only $20 available out in the lobby after the show. Let me know if you need one. <laughs> now, of course, I did go shopping this morning because I wanted to share with you one of my favorite gifts. And this is something, this is, this is definitely one of Tita's favorites. But you don't have to wait for me because I've been carrying it around with me all day. I have to just, I just have to take it out. Hold on one second. It, it takes a minute because it's, it's, it's quite large. I just, hold on one moment. I'm sorry. I was just give me a moment. Oh, oh my God. All right. Okay, I think, hold on. Just give me a moment. I just got to, okay, just three, two. This beautiful candy cane dildo. 
I know what you're thinking. This might be a basic roll of wrapping paper, but to me, it's a very festive dildo. Merry Christmas! You're always welcome to use any dildo you find on stage. Now, of course, Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without giving you folks a little something. So my last favorite titta's favorite thing is the sexy Santa Stripper. Give it up for the sexy Santa Stripper. Now, I know holidays are all about giving, and I have a really good friend that has a lot of good advice about giving. Hey, Maggie, do you have any advice for us about giving? I do. All right, well then let's do it. You gotta give a little. Hey, a little. And that's your poor heart. are here. My, it smells like Christmas. Today, we're going to be making my infamous spam bumps. Let's get baking. <laughs> to get started, gather these ingredients. One can of spam. Mmm, spam. Bisquick. Cheddar cheese. Some cayenne pepper. And just a little bit of water. First, let's start shredding the Spam. Mmm, isn't it delicious? Today we're using one entire can of Spam to make this possible. So one of the things that's really amazing, and a lot of people don't know, is that I have a special talent that I do with Spam. I can show you how to do that really quickly with your piece of Spam. That hole like that, just make it just, just, just a little hole. Not too much, you don't want to tear it apart. You want it to stay nice and tight. So for a younger audience, I'm trying to keep this PG. So use your imagination. Once you've put the hole in your spam, simply take advantage of it and really gather it because it is quite an experience. And I mean, every time I just, I finish right away. That's the world famous Tita Spam Job. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Let's get back on track to my holiday spam bumps or any other sort of bump of the holiday season. <laughs> Woo! Okay! <laughs> awesome! So, once you've shredded all of your spam, there's someone at the door. Oh my, it's my lovely granddaughter, Tiffany Titsling. Hmm. Hi, Grandma. Hi, little love. Okay, Tiffany, so do you remember what goes in first? Well, I think it is this container of cat food. That's right. One can of shredded Spam right into the bowl. Very good. Thank you for helping. You're such a good helper, girl. You're so welcome. Oh, my goodness. Now then, we're gonna do one nice solid cup of shredded cheddar cheese. All right, the next ingredient is one cup of your favorite baking mix, any sort of biscuit baking mix. That was now, um, to keep your uh, acid reflux at bay, you can add plenty of cayenne pepper um, for flavor. Is that too much, do you think, I don't know. to taste? Yeah, it's, the last ingredient is going to be a little bit of water. Now, I like to add just a tad as I'm going because I don't know where to stop. All right, Tiffany, go ahead and mix. Darling, don't little, spill. A little extra. Oh my it's God, spam is expensive. Yeah, go ahead like Grandmammy did and just kind of mash it with her vagina. This I is exactly I what it's supposed <laughs> to look like. It looks great. Okay. Now that we've got to that spot, let's get our handy dandy greased pan here. What's it greased with? It's greased with grease. Here. So now what you'll do here is just, here you go. Here, you just, take, not, not. just take it. No. Come on. Love. Grandma, I am a vegetarian. Just put it in the pan. I cannot. Just put it in the pan. That's going to soak into my hand. Anti vegetarian. You put that in the pan. Get that on your face. Wonderful. All right, now we need to put it into the oven. It's been preheating at 350. 350 degrees. Right. Put your face as close as you can to it. I'm just gonna get in there. Yeah, yes. if you would, yes. please. It's cold in here. All right, now we're just gonna throw that in here. All right, let's go ahead and let that cook for about 12 to 14 minutes. <laughs> Looks like they're ready. Whoa, whoa, what is up? Oh my goodness, don't they look fabulous? Oh, let's try one. Mmm. Oh my goodness, so warm. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. But that was a big bite, Grandma. Try Love some. how crispy and flaky these turned out. Do you think they're a little dry? No, I think they're really great. I really do. Do you need water? No. <laughs> Gosh, thank you so much for joining us on this wonderful holiday spam bump. And Tiffany, thank you so much for fucking showing up. It's been a pleasure. Pleasure's all yours. Perfect. We'll see you guys next time on Cooking with Tita. Oh, I love baking on the holidays. I really do. And that was a very special moment with my absolute fucking asshole granddaughter. But I digress, I really do, I digress, I digress. Now, I'm here with Magaphone. Maggie, you've been a performer here in Chinatown for a long time, yeah. Yes. Quite a few years, actually, and I'm sure you've experienced a lot of things that have been, the time. I mean, crazy. Let me tell you, I literally, just a few weeks ago, experienced my first mic fight. What? Take a look, let me show you. Well, they don't pour that shit on me, bitch. <laughs> cool. No, don't touch. Did I touch you? I am touching you. I am touching you. Oh my god, your dick goes all the way back here? <laughs> uh, you really know where you belong with all the earth crunchy hippies. Get out of here, bitch. You granoli ass crunchy bitch hippie. No, don't touch my mic, ho. This is not your show. What's your name? Nobody cares. Get off the stage. Get off the stage. Come on, come on. Careful. Continues to bother everyone. And we're going to bring up to the stage the next moment. So, we have two more performances for these hoes. If you would, please. Make some noise. You know, people, for my people always and are coming for my mic. Ah! Get away from me, you rogue, you fucking asshole. Damn it. Get out. Oh, get out of here. Fucking Chinatown roaches. Jesus Christ.
Which brings me to my next topic. You work with Chinatown bugs, yeah? I work with insects. Oh, I see. What kind of insects are you working with right now? Uh, a rhinoceros. I'm sorry, who's D? It's, uh, it's in the order of Coleoptera. You know, scarab beetles. Stink beetles, dung, mm. dung beetles. Ah, dung beetles, Stink I get it. Yeah, I get that. I understand Stink. that whole, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, are, are you, like, what, why are you collecting well, them, or, like, what's happening here? Uh, yeah, well, they're going to eat all of our coconut trees if, oh. if we don't stop them. I brought you something. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Yes, yeah, happy holidays. Okay. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! It's a larvae. After the break, be the first to get a Titta Titsling tank top available at tittatitsling.com. Also, find booking information at tittatitsling.com. Oh, I have a good friend of mine here to help us warm things up. This is Nicole. Give it up for Nicole. She is here representing Trace Agave's tequila who is our sponsor this evening, and she is going to show us a delectable treat that we can all make in the comfort of our own drunken stupor. That's right, Nicole? Yes, that's right, yeah. Okay, perfect. So what's the first step in this cocktail? Uh, we're going to put some cucumbers in the glass. Okay, so we're putting cucumbers in the glass. Now these are, of course, the longest, largest, thickest cucumbers you find in your garden that are uncut. <laughs> We are going for uncut cucumbers, right? Yeah, correct. Okay, because obviously there's a difference. Cut and uncut, the flavor... Way different. Totally <laughs> different. <laughs> Next we're gonna muddle. I'll let you do the honors. Oh. Oh, I know how to muddle. Let's see here. It's something like this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, that got in my eye. Let's 
They're worth it. Okay. That looks good. What's next? We're going to put a little Thai basil in. Okay, so we're doing Thai basil, as opposed to... Italian. Right, which would be much larger than Thai basil. Right? Correct. Okay, so uncut, uncut cucumber, tiny Thai dip, I mean basil. And then what are you adding now? Uh, grapefruit syrup. This is a grapefruit syrup, and, and how do you make a grapefruit syrup? It's just like... I don't know. It's French, I have no idea. Okay, yeah. nobody knows what the French are doing nowadays. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of grapefruit syrup, a little bit of... Yes. <laughs> so special sauce, it's your secret. Mm -hmm. I filled this bottle up right before the show. I didn't know we were using it. It's very sticky. It's very sticky. But I'm gonna get it checked out, all right, sir? I'm just saying, I know I'm going to the doctor later, it'll be fine. Okay, what else are we having? Okay, our sponsor of the night, which is Trace Agave's Tequila. Uh, give it up Trace Agave's Tequila! <laughs> Alright, so we got a little, a little tequila. Okay, that's cute. Alright. Like, add some tequila. Did you put any in? Okay. okay I mean, this is mine, yeah? Okay. Yeah. That looks good. I'm gonna do the ice, I'm gonna shake it, and while I'm doing that, can you rim the glass? glasses? Oh. I know how to rim the glasses. Alright, this is my specialty. Let me show you how to do this here. Okay guys, you ready? There's one. You know I always love rimming in pairs. Nice and salty. <laughs> All right, I love this game. All right, what are we doing now? What are we? We're gonna, we're gonna get the, we're gonna get drunk. Yay! Let's get drunk. All right. There we go. Poor, poor, poor. That's a long time. Oh, because we're classy. We're classy girls. So <laughs> yes, a little bit of club soda. Just, just a splash. Because we're classy. We like a little bit of bubbly. All right, cheers, Nicole. Thanks for making this. Give it up for Nicole and take the guy with tequila. Let's drink it, Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's that's really good. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, the rim job took us overboard. Give it up for Nicole. Thank you so much, Nicole. I really appreciate that. But why don't we go ahead and take a minute to fucking enjoy the news, shall we? I'm Tina Titsley, and this is TNA, giving you the hottest tea. Oh, this tea is too hot! Vicky has a new station right here at New Luano in Puahi. All I have to say is, watch out, hunties. I'll get you and your little dog. <laughs> oh shit, fuck. Oh, but you know, the Vicky is great. I absolutely love it. I really do. I mean, because the last time I paid $3.50 to ride something in this town, there was no returning it. Crabs. The Honolulu Lights festivities get underway in just a few days. Thousands of people will be flocking to the palace and town to see it all in bright colored lights. Sadly, crowd favorite Shaka Santa and my girl Tutu Mele will not be making it this year. The new president's administration has mandated that all government buildings install these new holiday statues. May I be the first to introduce you to the Grinch? and his ice queen. Oh, look how cute. He has a little sign that says no Muslims. <laughs> Avoid them all and shop small this holiday season. Your neighborhood retailers are teaming up to bring you the downtown shop around from now until Christmas. Enjoy deals, discounts, seasonal window decor. Like my hooker auntie always said, nothing says the holidays like Hotel Street. 
Well, that's the news. I'm Titta Titsling. Tune in anytime you're looking for a little sugar for your tea. Clowns in there. So that's where I met you. And how, how was your experience at Tropical Fish? Well, it was it was quite an interesting, real experience. If I have to say so myself. Well, basically, what I did was I was told you can't win, so I did. Yeah. <laughs> well, then give it up for the first winner of Tropical Fish season one, the reigning queen. Okay. You know, and I love having you in my family as my sister, as my daughter, as my, like, you know, afterbirth. It's been really enjoyable. And I don't mind when you come for my love or you try to look like me or you, like, try to be like me. I like to do You know what I mean? Like, I get it. But, but as a family, we stick together, right? Exactly. And so you'll help me beat this bitch because look at this. She came from where? This bitch is coming for me. I don't know what this is about. Well, if you're gonna come, you're gonna come for the best. Or on her face. Or on her face. I, in this case, it's on her mustache. Oh! Uh, this bitch is serving a mustache right. And I want to say, anyone that thinks they can do this, we got a lot of things coming. I am going to be a prostitute tonight. Oh, yeah. And she was a prostitute that night. She really was. She With was a, a big mustache, right? You only like the real thing. Well, thank you so much, Lil, for sharing your time, your devotion, and your energy of complete incorrectness. It has been a joy to have you sit on all of our faces. Make some noise for Lil and Tayta! At this time, as we're all dying from this hatred, we'd like to go ahead and warm ourselves with a little bit of love, remind ourselves that the holiday season's full of more things than just trash. If you would, go ahead and make some noise for my lovely friend and ex-lover, Don Farmer, representing the Gay Men's Chorus and their preview of their Christmas show, December 17th. The restroom door said, gentlemen, so I just walked inside. I took two steps and realized I'd been taken for a ride. I heard high voices turned and found the place was occupied by two nuns, three old ladies, and a nurse. What could be worse than two nuns, three old ladies, and a nurse? <laughs> the restroom door said, gentlemen, it must have been a gag. As soon as I walked in there, I ran into some old hag. She sprayed me with a can of mace and slapped me with her bag. I could tell this just wouldn't be my day. What can I say? It just wasn't turning out to be my day. The restroom door said, gentlemen, and I would like to find the crummy little creep who had the nerve to switch the sign. Cause I got two black eyes and one high heel up my behind. Now I can sit with comfort and joy. Boy, oh boy. No, I'll never sit with comfort and joy. Absolutely amazing. And of course, it is the holidays, and what a special moment it is to share it all with you, because that's what this is all about. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be loved.